Discussion on aliasing and Nyquist limit in Doppler echocardiography. Aliasing is a phenomenon in pulsed Doppler echocardiography in which when the velocity is beyond a particular limit known as the Nyquist limit, the direction of flow is depicted as opposite to that of the actual one. Nyquist limit is half the pulse repetition frequency of the ultrasound signal emitted by the Doppler transducer. Aliasing does not occur in continuous wave Doppler as the transmission of Doppler beam is continuous and not in pulses. High pulse repetition frequency Doppler recording showing aortic regurgitation jet above the baseline with a cutoff at the upper end and a wraparound seen below the baseline. Here aliasing is seen because the limit has been set just above 200 cm per second while the velocity of the jet is higher than that. The tracing can be depicted upwards to its full extent by adjusting the velocity limit or by adjusting the baseline downwards. The dense jet seen below the baseline is the forward aortic flow. The peak forward gradient is measured as 20 mm of mercury which does not indicate significant aortic stenosis. This is a diagrammatic representation of what happens when the baseline of the Doppler tracing is shifted downwards. The portion of the ARJ which was below the baseline gets shifted to the cutoff portion of the ARJ above the baseline. Similar change occurs if maximum velocity setting is changed as well. Increasing the velocity setting increases the pulse repetition frequency of the HPRF. Similar phenomenon can be seen in color Doppler echocardiography as well. When the Nyquist limit is exceeded, a flow which should have been depicted as blue, that is away from the transducer, is depicted as red, seemingly as towards the transducer. This is the first wraparound. Nyquist limit of the color Doppler is displayed at the upper and lower ends of the color bar, which may be displayed either on the right upper corner or left upper corner. Here the flow away from the transducer in blue color has a Nyquist limit of minus 77 centimeters per second. Nyquist limit for the flow towards the transducer is not seen in this image as it has been cropped below that level. When the Nyquist limit is exceeded twice, the color again shifts back to the original color. This is known as second wraparound. In this image, the color bar is displayed on the left upper corner. Obviously, this is from a different machine. Both 